It's Professor Dave. Let's use some special adjectives. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. We know about adjectives and some special adjectives, so let's learn a few more special adjectives. These are molto, which means much or many, poco, which means little or few, and troppo, which means too much or too many. These are called quantifiers because they describe a quantity. They are also part of the family of indefinites because the quantities they describe are totally subjective. Who can decide how much is a lot or a little or too much? Unlike most other adjectives, these ones precede their nouns. So we would say, lui mangia molta pasta, and not lui mangia pasta molta. Same for the other ones. Tu mangi troppi spaghetti. Le mangia poca carne. These words can also be used as adverbs, which is a totally different function. So, while you could say, Alice è molto intelligente, because she is very smart, you could also say, Alice studia molto, meaning that she studies a lot. Similarly, i miei genitori sono poco sportivi. But, you could also say, loro si muovono poco meaning they move little. And when molto precedes another adjective, both words will follow the noun. So, è una bella casa, but è una casa molto bella. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it after some repetition. Let's say you are being asked if a particular item exists and you want to respond that instead of one, there are many of those items, like such. Un professore severo? No, molti professori severi. Notice how all of the words agree in number. Now you try. Un esame difficile? No, molti esami difficili. Now you have a way to answer questions with a little more gusto. Mangiate verdure? You could say, si, mangiamo verdure. Or you could say, si, mangiamo molte verdure. Let's check comprehension. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.